Last weekend, the men's ice hockey team had two big wins over Boston University and UMass Lowell, pushing them to 18-6. and six. I sat down and talked with senior and captain Joe Whitney about the season and also asked him a few fun questions so the fans can get to know him a little bit better. Joe, you're a senior and a captain of this team, which is a great honor, but do you ever feel any extra pressure or stress that comes along with that title? Well, I don't think there's any uh, any pressure just because we have such a good group of guys um, on our team and you know every, everyone can play the leadership role. Um, but I think it's quite an honor to uh, have the C on your jersey um, from the guys that, that came before me and, and the other guys that, that wore the C. Um, so it's it's quite an honor, and um, you know, I have I have a lot of respect for the guys before me and and for the guys that you know that are going to come after me. Well, you said that there's underclassmen who might step up into those leadership roles. Who have you seen do that this year to help you out, you know, take some of the weight off your shoulders? Well, I think um, Brian Gibbons and Tommy Cross um, and also John Muse have, have done a great job um, as leaders on our team. And also the, the whole junior class, um, is, I think there's eight or nine of them, and, and they've all done a great job of, you know, accepting the leadership role and, and being a, an upperclassman with, um, you know, a lot of underclassmen as well, so. On the ice, you're a very versatile player. You know, you're listed as a forward on the roster, but a lot of the time this year you've been pushed back to defense. In fact, in the Ledyard Classic, you were named to the all-tournament team as a defenseman. Do you find that there's challenges being moved around a lot from forward to defense? Well, yeah, I think um, I have to credit the coaching staff. They kind of guide me in the right direction. And, um, you know, if they, if they didn't believe in me, they wouldn't put me out there. So um, that, that's a bonus there. And I think... Um, you know, it, it's hard to go back and forth, but um, you know, I, I look at it as if, if they feel comfortable with me going back there, um, you know, then I have the confidence in myself that I can get the job done. And you know, I, I just try to do anything I can to help the team. And if that's um, go back to play defense for a little bit, then you know, that's what I got to do. And another change that was made on the ice is after Christmas break, you were moved back onto a line with teammates Cam Atkinson and Brian Gibbons, which actually happened around the same time last year. Seems like you guys have great chemistry. How do you feel about being reunited with those two? Well, it's great. Um, you know, any any line that I, I I'm put on, um, you know, is a good line. But you know, especially those two guys, they, you know, they're tremendous players, and you know, we have a lot of fun playing together, um, and we have a lot of chemistry together as well. So uh, we just try to have fun, and um, you know, the other lines are great too, and um, they're really contributing. So it's not just one line that's um, carrying the workload, but you know, we have four great lines, and, um, you know, we're, that's when we're rolling. And your brother Steve is a sophomore on this team, and I interviewed him a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and he talked about how much fun it is to get the chance to play with you. What has been your favorite memory so far of playing with Steve here at BC? Well, a favorite memory is probably last year um, out in Detroit together. Um, it's a special, special moment um, that we can have for the rest of our lives. But, you know, Steve uh, came in last year, and um, I thought he had a good life good year last year but I think he's really uh, turning it on this year and contributing um, you know production wise and also in a lot of other areas as well but um, you know he's really turned into a, a great player for us. Who is the funniest person on the team? Well we have a lot of characters on our team. Um, I think Paul Carey and Philip Samuelson and, um, Barry Almeida in his own way. Okay. Um, are funny guys on our team, but you know all the guys are, have their own sense of humor. How about who's the best dancer? Anyone break it down in the locker room? <laughs> uh, we don't really dance in the locker room much. Uh, I, I'd have to say maybe Brooksy. Okay. Brooks Daroff and Parker Milner, maybe. Some good moves. Some good dancers. How about the best style? Best style. Well, I'm sure Barry Almeida will tell you he has the best style, yeah. um, but I'm not really sure. I, I like Philip Samuelson's European style. Okay. Um, nice flair. Well, I think all the guys have good style. <laughs> all right, and finally, if you had to be stuck on a desert island with one of your teammates, who would it be and why? It's uh, a tough one. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I wish I could take all the guys, but Aww. I'd take. Uh, I'd probably take Barry with me. Okay. Just because he keeps me going. He's. Uh, Makes me laugh, and, and we kind of uh, you know get together, get along pretty good. Good. Well, thanks for giving us some insight on the team, and good luck this weekend, Joe. Thank you, Anna. The next game for the men's ice hockey team will be this Saturday at UMass Lowell at 7 p.m.
Reporting for BCEagles.com, I'm Hannah Alley.